Five this morning, falling debris and shattered glass give a pregnant driver a scare on the road. Unfortunately, she wasn't seriously hurt, but she and her husband are learning a tough lesson. The Eyes Antoinette Antonio is live in Sharon with this cautionary tale and why the couple has to pay for the damage themselves. Antoinette? And Emily, that couple says they're out $2,000 in damages from that falling debris. The state passed the buck onto the contractor, but the contractor says their job was complete. All of a sudden, I just heard this really loud bang. Liz Watts, four months pregnant, passing under the South Main Street Bridge in Sharon on 95 South, a marked construction zone. Debris falling onto her SUV, shattered glass everywhere. Scared for the baby, for myself, you know, still in panic mode, hoping the other cars around me are aware enough, um, paying enough attention that nothing happens to them. Watts and her husband immediately called Mass DOT and found out the state isn't liable. Because it's contracted, the contractor will have an insurance policy and it will fall under theirs and they'll help cover everything. But the contractor says their job was finished. Mass DOT had signed off on it, so it wasn't their fault. After several letters and phone calls, the Watts learned the state isn't responsible unless someone is injured. If it's not an active construction site, then it's up to us and we need to handle it on our own. It's a huge inconvenience, um, but I mean, I guess we just keep reminding ourselves, thankfully. I wasn't hurt, the baby's okay, no one else was hurt, so that's our upside right now. And Mass DOT says it does want a positive resolution to all of this. We did mention that it was a marked construction site, so the state is looking into whether there was another contractor on another project here. We're live in Sharon this morning, Antoinette Antonio, WCVB News Center 5.